was nothing. Only the spark of divine consciousness. From this spark, all of creation arose, spinning out from the center, spinning into being, spinning into time, spinning into wheels of life. From the great spiral galaxies thousands of light years across, to the trillions of atoms swirling in a grain of sand, the universe is made from spinning wheels of energy. Spinning wheels of stardust, giving birth to life. Wheels upon wheels spinning through space, solidifying into form, rotating on an axis, orbiting the sun, revolving and evolving through time, the one in the many, giving birth to life. With a single white moon, our shining blue planet spins in space. A planet made of earth and water, and fire and air. A planet of sound and light and beauty, and the consciousness of life. An intricate web woven with exquisite balance. This blessed earth, which is our home, is the great wheel from which our life arises. Generated from the heart of divine spirit, condensing into manifestation, the one in the many, Father Sky and Mother Earth. currents, one from above and one from below. As these currents pass between the chakras, the centers spin like gears that take us on a journey through life. Together, these seven chakras describe a profound formula for wholeness and a template for transformation. of the chakras in the body gives meaning to their respective levels of consciousness, which we will explore as we enter the lotus of each chakra, beginning with a four-petaled red lotus located at the base of the spine. The first chakra represents the material world the indrawing gravity of matter, the force which binds energy into form and creates the density that we experience as the physical world. Its element is earth, and this chakra represents the survival instinct and our primal connection to the earth's matrix of life. 
It is believed that the serpentine energy of the goddess Kundalini Shakti lies coiled three and one half times around the base chakra, holding matter together. When aroused, Kundalini journeys up the spine, piercing and awakening each chakra in turn, seeking her divine partner, Shiva, who abides in pure awareness. The name of this chakra, Muladhara, means root support. To have the proper foundation for the long journey upwards, one needs roots deep in the earth. It is here that you come home to the peace, stillness, and solidity that is found in the natural world. Meditate here with your roots in the earth, honoring the temple of your body. Muladhara now remains awakened at the base of the spine as we open to the six-petaled orange lotus of the second chakra called Svadhisthana, meaning one's own place. This chakra is related to the element water and represents the dual nature of existence, the constant ebb and flow of polarity, opposites attracting moving and flowing toward each other with a primal longing to merge together as one. Here we tap into the primal flow of the life force energy pulled by the currents within the soul urged by our longings and desires. At the level of the second chakra, the Kundalini serpent both divides and unites, creating the eternal yin-yang of existence, spinning in ultimate balance. In the body, this chakra emanates from the sacrum, the hips and pelvis, as the seat of movement sensation, pleasure, desire, and emotion. As two bodies connect with each other in erotic communion, they become one in ecstatic embrace, opening to the waters of passion and their ocean of bliss. Satisfied, we move from the waters of the second chakra into the third chakra, located in the solar plexus, the yellow lotus of Manipura, which means lustrous gem. and vitalize the entire system, pulsating flames of energy enliven us to awaken our power, to burn with purpose, to strengthen our will. We 
keep that flame alive through all its trials and tribulations as we burn through blocks into ever greater freedom and power. Lest that fire burn itself out, that power must be tamed. Through diligent practice, we unite the energies within and around us. No small task as we follow the chaotic and fiery serpent of Kundalini, harnessing her energy to bring it into our bellies and blossom forth with power. This fire carries and sustains us as we burn through the ego and dissolve into the lustrous gem that is the true source of power in Manipura. Leaving the third chakra ignited we rise again to the heart to find a green lotus of 12 petals called anahata, meaning unstruck or unhurt. The element of this chakra is air as we rise up into the softness and spaciousness of the sky. Now the Kundalini Serpent carries us upwards on wings of love to embrace the awakening of Divine Spirit which bids the heart to open and fly free. Expanding into the element air with each breath we take we soar towards the infinite becoming light and spacious within Dancing playfully with another, we enter the mystery of love and relationship as we transcend ego and journey with others into the divine realm of the heart. Uniting heaven and earth, masculine and feminine, mind and body in perfect balance the heart is a soft place, tender, deep, a place of compassion and connection. When awakened, the heart beats with the rhythm of life, pulsing its love through all our relations, self and other, culture and planet, human and divine. As we open our own hearts, we tune into the global heart, now dawning at the frontiers of social awareness. into the blue lotus of 16 petals located in the throat called Vishuddha which means purification. In the etheric realm of the throat chakra Kundalini awakens the core vibrations within as sound carried on the air of our breath opens our expression to the music of the stars. Listen to the murmur of the voice within. Listen 
to the song rising out of your heart. Vibration ripples through all of creation, resonating, expressing, harmonizing, synchronizing, opening our voices to sing our truth into the chorus of life. self-expression flows in waves of vibration, taking us deeper and yet deeper to the truth we hold within and the truth we find without. From essence into vibration, to sound, to language, communication, and expressions of creativity. Transferring music, knowledge, and poetry through time. As the fifth chakra vibrates within the throat, we move up to the brow chakra, a lotus of only two petals called Ashna which means to perceive and to command. Kundalini is now a glowing serpent of light, uncoiling from the depths of our meditation to open chakra six, the third eye, center of vision, insight, and the limitless world of light. The two petals of this chakra bring resolution of duality to the single-pointed focus of the third eye. This is the chakra of seeing, of imagination, the place that reveals the radiant light within. Focus your consciousness on this center to find insight, to seek vision, to bask in the eternal beauty of the inner world as rays of awareness pierce through illusion and bring clarity. the third eye opens between our two physical eyes, we enter the deep meditation that reveals the light within. Keep your gaze steady among your many thoughts and find the portal to the inner mysteries of illumination as they unfold their elegant patterns in the mind's eye. Follow these patterns to discover and achieve your dreams. Seek your guiding vision within the quiet stillness of your inner world.
Once we have seen the path, the Kundalini serpent finds her way straight up the spine to pierce the crown chakra, Sahasrara, meaning thousandfold. Fully complete from base to crown, the seventh chakra can now blossom forth as the thousand petaled lotus of infinite awareness, emanating from the dimensionless point of consciousness within. You are that consciousness. Awake, aware, intelligent, divine. of duality. to the one. 
we are